Hi, welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today is a very special edition. I received the request to create a healthy carb, and that is what we're going to do today. We're going to be making spelt pita. What is spelt? Spelt is an ancient grain. It is similar to whole wheat, but not exactly the same. It is actually higher in vitamins and minerals and has a higher fiber count. It is more nutritious for you than whole wheat flour. So it's a feel good carb. And who doesn't like that? Because I've had pita of my life. Oh, I never spelt like this before. Let's get started. I need my apron. Abracadabra. First things first, we're going to combine the flours, some lukewarm water, and the yeast, and let them sit for at least 10 minutes to start having fun. You feel free to leave it for up to two hours. Two cups spelt flour. One cup lukewarm water. Half teaspoon yeast. Combine. I let the spelt, water, and the yeast rest for about 30 minutes or so. Now I'm going to add in the other ingredients and we're gonna knead it by hand. One cup all-purpose flour. Three quarters teaspoon salt. One tablespoon olive oil. I mixed it a little bit in the bowl and now I'm going to gently knead it by hand. It should be a little sticky and that's okay. And then we're gonna let it rest for 60 minutes. I know it seemed that everything wasn't going to come together, that there was an excess of flour, but you'll see that it did. It came together into a nice, smooth, and supple dough, which is exactly what we want. So we're gonna put it in a lightly greased bowl and let it rise for 60 minutes at room temperature covered. Don't forget, preheat your oven to 500 degrees. If you have a pizza stone, place it on the bottom rack of your oven and let the oven gradually heat up to the 500 degrees. Don't have a pizza stone? Place a baking sheet in the bottom of your oven and that will work out just fine. The dough has rusted for another hour and it has puffed up quite a bit. Not doubled in size, but it has increased in bulk, which is great. We're gonna divide it into eight balls and then let it rest for another 15 minutes covered. Let's roll. Now that I've covered them with plastic wrap, let them rest for 15 minutes. Roll each ball to a six inch diameter. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on a baking peel that's dusted with cornmeal so it can slide into the oven. If you don't have a baking peel, feel free to use a baking sheet, which could also help you do that. into the oven, they will slide onto the baking stone for three to five minutes. They should turn golden brown, but watch them. They're ready. 
get a dish towel and a plate ready so that we can keep them all warm while they go in and out of the oven. They've puffed up quite a lot. Look at that. Oh boy. Wow. Nice and puffy, just like pita should be. Cover them so they stay warm while you do the other batches. Wow, look how puffed up that is. That is pita perfection if I have ever seen it. Now let's give it a try. Mm. It's soft. Has a slightly nutty flavor. You can see it's hollow in the inside. Just perfect for slicing open in half and putting in your favorite sandwich lunch meats. Tuna fish, chicken salad, cheese. Heck, you could make a pizza pita, which would be also fabulous. These pitas are not only delicious, but they are nutritious. If I can do this, you can too. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe. I'd also love to hear your comments on a recipe that you would love for me to try next. <laughs> Got to click, what is my problem? I've had pita of my life. Oh, I never spelt like this before. Oh, I swear it's the truth. And I owe it all to, oh, there's nothing that rhymes. <laughs>